All right, so a little update. I just had to shut the camera off and then I got the uh, keeper out and I'm gonna need a new gasket. Cause this one's messed up. I either get a new one or make a new one. All right, so I'll show you the trick with the sandpaper. Now this isn't like a good valve job, but it'll help clean it up and hopefully try to resurface it. I've seen it done by a en small engine mechanic, Terra Fixes All. Go to his channel. And make a line. Now I'm coming on it. Come over here, make an X in the middle of that. Try to. Kind of hard to do. So like that, pretty much. Then you're gonna slide that valve in there. You're gonna fold it up. Kinda. You don't, you want it to get it to seat. You're gonna want it to seat inside there. And I might have done it wrong. That valve's still a little stuck. Why do this for driver? Here it is. Careful with it. Yeah, I got it cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that valve out of there. Try to. Try not to break it. That valve is definitely going to need to be cleaned big time. That's all kinds of stiff and, uh, well, gunked up. Got a bunch of junk in it. So. If this thing was to have ran with this, without this valve being cleaned, yeah, the uh, valve guide would probably come out and then blow the engine up, pretty much. Come on, get out of there. There we go. Got that all getting there in that seat. Look at this. See all that junk on there? It's got a bunch of junk there, and then this was all sticking. There's the inside. Here's the valve seat I just cleaned up. Now, before that was not bare metal at all, that was black. Now, I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to lightly very very lightly take the sandpaper now you don't want to do too much at all I'm just going to kind of clean it up a little bit and see where the surface is at and it will help clean it off oh, I pretty much said that but it may help keep it from sticking what I need is valve lapping compound. Now you don't want to get too crazy with it. Drop the valve. You could get it pretty shiny. You just don't want to keep doing it in one spot too long. Because it will ruin the surface there all right what i want to do is take that sandpaper and do some more surfacing another thing you could do if you want it if you do take the valve out if you don't want to take the valve out then cut that line and do it but another thing you do is if 
you might as well just take out the whole valve because um, you're probably going to have to anyway. So you're going to take a sh sharp object like a little um, screwdriver like I'm doing or something like that. Put a small hole in there. You're going to want it this way. You're going to shove that valve in there just like that. And it's going to set right there. And it's going to surface itself and clean up that little um, valve. So once you get it in there, it'll seat itself. You just got to let it. You just got to let it seat itself. You can't. The sandpaper. You can't. You have to let this sandpaper fit. Otherwise, oh, it's not going to get too good. Just get it as good as you can. See that little ring there? I don't know if you can or not, but there's a little ring right here where it was working. Look at this. See that shininess? That right there. And then this little, right where my fingernail's grazing, little shininess. That is exactly what you want. That's exactly what you want. And you're going to have to clean all this out too. Because it's the intake valve. And once you run it, it's going to throw that junk up into the cylinder. Go out your, your brand new rings and throw it out the exhaust. If it goes out the exhaust. If. So now what I'm going to do. Throw that valve in there for now to keep that from rusting up. And uh, I think I'll take a break from this for a few minutes, for a little bit. And, uh, well, there's your valve job, and I'll see you in the next video.